hello guys uh, welcome back in this video um, we have a Cisco ASR 9K um, and basically we are executing a procedure that is called turbo booting so this turbo booting basically is not a it's not an upgrade this is basically you know like a disaster recovery to recover the AOS XR software on the RSP so in this case you know we are uh, basically modifying the configura configuration register in order you know to to for not to force the unit but in order to boot into the armon so and then an armon we are going to assign you know some variables and you know with the proper parameters with the uh, mini uh, dash uh, uh, bn software and uh, just to boot the unit from the tftp server so basically uh, let me show you the version that we are we have now show version brief so that is the version right there my customer day one uh, you know a later version i have 6.4 i guess so that will be good enough and um, that's the uh, the chassis right let me show you the chassis in case you are not familiar with the chassis right there this is the chassis right here this is a four slot chassis you know it's a little old but it's still customer is asking for support so yeah we do it here at S7 network so that's the chassis right there uh, in this moment I have only one RSP um, I need to you know to get another one because we need a dual RSP on the unit but in this case I have only one for now so basically we are executing that and in order to do that we need to uh, change the, con the config register so in order to do that let's go to um, show show a platform that's the RSP on the unit right, right there so basically we are executing admin config the register 0x0 this will you know uh, force the chassis to boot into the armor and then from there we are executing you know uh, we are basically assigned variables IP address and TFTP all the kind of configuration in order to boot from the uh, the mini VM software so basically we are doing this right now exit so basically now we are just uh, executing reload reload location all and that will boot the unit into the armor and uh, from there we are you know just uh, assign some parameters you know into the uh, management interface in order you know to uh, you know to, perf to perform the uh, turbo booting uh, installation software so let's that's this that's will boot the chassis we are just you know This basically, you know, this is this basically will format everything. That's why I want to make sure that you guys understand that this is not an upgrade. So this will format all all uh, all data on this zero. So let's wait until the uh, the unit put into the armor mode. There we go. So right here we are starting, you know changing some variables right here and the first is this one right here on set boot this one enter on set mirror enable is another uh, option and sync sync 
add another command and then uh, we are going to disable the CPU watchdog with this command right here this WD enter so basically now we are going to X0 to assign IP parameters and we are going to uh, IP address we are going to use this one copy IP cylinder mask let's type a default gateway 192.168.0.1 TFTP TFTP underscore or try we try underscore count equal four TFTP timeout equals six hundred six thousand per excuse me TFTP Chuckson equal one TFTP server one ninety two dot one six eight dot zero dot one two and uh, the management interface TFTP TFTP underscore MGMT underscore interface equal zero meaning that is the uh, this this type of uh, this kind or uh, RSP they have two different uh, management uh, management uh, zero when we are using this, the, the zero we need to specify that parameters in here so basically uh, TFTP TFTP underscore BLK size equal 1400 and the last option is turbo mode let's copy this paste turbo mode on this zero that will format everything just want to make sure that you guys know that and then we say the configuration sync Uh, verify the configuration it was applied set and basically yes IP address IP subnet mask default gateway the FTP server the management interface turbo mode so basically now we are just executing you know the command for um, for install the software it does software it have that particular command in this one boot TFTP 192.168.0.102 and the so uh, of the AS software which is um, one second please I have here this one this is the last one that I have so we are going to install this one right here pegs okay there we go enter there we go guys this is how did you basically you know execute the boot the turbo booting you know on the uh, rsp rsp 440 dash tr uh you know the chassis i already showed you the chassis is on asr nine nine or six which is you know is a you know a six slot chassis two rsp and four line four uh slot for line so we are just you know waiting until the process is complete 
and after that we are just uh, verifying that everything is working as you know you know with the new uh, XR iOS software that we are just installing right here so let's wait until the process is complete so the process is you know is uh, going well you know um, right here as we can see the file was transferred completely and then here uh, yeah, still you know executing a couple things so just let's wait until um, we can see the prompt we need to reboot the unit oh, I believe you know it's automatic rebooting after everything is complete look at that so guys the uh, a great process basically was complete look all of that here you know um, right here you know the turbo booting you know format the disk is zero and you know start the uh, the upgrade process copy you know files from the tfpp server you know basically you know as this is basically a few files only you know the, the complete routing packaging and everything need to be add uh, you know in a different package which is, is a tar file and then you execute a command to you know to install and commit all the rest of the software but you know my work for now will be only you know install that particular version of the software this one right here basically and you know the engineers of the data center will do the rest so basically uh, the unit reboot and uh, let's see is this is uh, apparently it is working fine yeah let's wait until you know the chassis is complete up and running okay guys i believe the process is complete um you know they were so not brave you know of the fpd five spga basically uh, let's see uh root and there we go show version brief So that's the new operating system. Remember before was a 5.5.1. 5 Let's check, probably check which one was the operating system before. Five three four. See, yeah. So we are, you know, we just execute the upgrade process, the turbo booting, and then uh, chop platform basically it's just the rsp on the unit show the app and there we go guys this is how did you you know execute the turbo booting on a asr 9k cisco series router thank you so much for your time i really appreciate it and please if you like the video please give me a like subscribe to my channel and share with your friends and co-workers Thank you. Have a good evening and uh, I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.